What's up everybody? This is your local grill guy, Jeremy, over here at Backcountry and Beyond, and this is your weekly grill tip video. Um, I know this may come as a huge surprise to you guys, but our first ingredient today is going to be bacon. Bacon. Always bacon. Um, anyway, so what we're making today is going to be a breakfast food. It's uh, basically a baked egg and a little bacon nest. I actually got this recipe from Traeger. It's on the Traeger app. You can look it up right now. Um, I think it's called Traeger Bacon and Eggs or something like that. Do a Google search for it. It's the first thing you'll find. So anyway, first things first, we need some bacon. You guys really have to try this recipe. It's really awesome. Um, it's going to come out very similar to like a poached egg except it's going to be wrapped in bacon and cooked on the Traeger and uh, what is not to like about that right so anyway moving right along I've got six eggs I'm going to be making today so I'm going to cook up six slices of bacon I'm going to partially cook this bacon um, we've done this before in previous videos basically what you're going to do is you're going to cook it until the fat is pretty much rendered. The bacon's kind of brown, but not crispy. It needs to still be floppy. If you don't like poached eggs, if you don't like the yolk runny in the middle, um, you can always whisk your eggs first and do it more like a little mini quiche kind of deal. Or you can just cook it a little bit longer and let the uh, yolk get solid. All right, guys, so picking right back up where we left off. Um, for our baked egg and a bacon nest, first thing we need is bacon, of course. We're about to partially cook this bacon. Um, don't want it all the way done. We want it most of the way done. So right now I've got our Ironwood 885 preheated. It's set at 375. I'm gonna season this bacon up with some coffee rub. As many of you may already know, this is my favorite rub to use on bacon. If you haven't tried it, you're really missing out. You have to try this, it's amazing. We're ready to put this on the grill. You'll step outside with me. All right, so we're rolling at 375. I'm gonna put my bacon straight on the grill grates. Like always, that's the only way I cook bacon. Straight on the grates. And at 375, it's probably going to take roughly 10 to 12 minutes for this bacon to get where you want it to be. Um, I recommend you start checking on it after 10 minutes. You don't want to overcook it. You don't want it to be crispy. You want to be able to line it inside of a, a muffin tin and each little slot of the muffin tin. So about 10 to 12 minutes at 375, our bacon should be good to go. And uh, I guess until then, I'll just be hanging out and waiting on my bacon. Alright guys, so it's been right at 10 minutes since I put this bacon on the grill. Let's take a quick look at it and see what we've got going on here. That looks pretty good. That's pretty much what we want to see. You see the fat starting to render out. The bacon's got some color to it, but it's still floppy. It's not crispy yet. Um, that's pretty much perfect, so I'm going to go ahead and pull this all off the grill now.
bacon's off the grill. We're gonna keep the grill rolling at 375, and we're gonna head on back inside and see if we can get some eggs going. All right, so my bacon's on the cooling rack. I'm just gonna set it over here to the side over some paper towels. We'll let that drain for just a sec while we get all of our other ingredients together. You're gonna need a muffin tin. This one has 12 slots in it. I'm only gonna use six, but that's fine. No worries there. Got this bowl here. Um, quick pro tip for you guys. Always crack your eggs away from the container that you're going to put them in. So my eggs are going in here. I'm gonna crack them over this bowl. That way, if there's any little tiny shards of shell that come loose, they're gonna land in here rather than in my food that I'm gonna eat. I don't know about you guys, but I really don't like eggshells too much. So that's the way you should always crack your eggs. Trust me, it's totally worth it. Anyway, first things first, need some nonstick for your pan, muffin tin, whatever. Go ahead and put a nice little bit of nonstick on there. That way when this is done, you'll get them right out of there, no problem. You don't have to make a mess out of your eggs. It's gonna be a lot easier. I like to use veggie rub on these. This is another one of my favorite rubs. It's awesome, highly recommend it. All right, so next step, we need bacon. We need our bacon nest. So we're gonna take a slice of bacon and I find that if you go with the meat side down and the fat side up, it just kind of fits in there a little bit better. I just found that that's easier. Do it however you want. This is how I'm going to do it. We're going to line each slot of this muffin tin with one slice of partially cooked bacon. Next, we need our eggs. And remember, like I said, crack your eggs away from the container they're going in so you don't have any shells in your food. Just dump them right in there. Last step, seasoning on top. Use whatever you like. I find that the veggie rub works really well with this recipe. Um, you can always just go salt and pepper, whatever you prefer, that's fine. And that's it. So we've still got the grill going at 375. We're gonna take this back out to the grill. It's gonna cook at 375 for roughly about 20 minutes. Um, I'll probably start checking them after about 15 minutes. Uh, again, like I said earlier, I want this to be kind of similar to a poached egg. So I wanna cook it until the egg white has just set and hopefully the yolk will still be runny in the middle. Um, if it gets a little bit overcooked, that's fine. Some of you may prefer it that way, but I like to cook mine with a little bit of runny yolk in the middle. 
So let's take this out to the grill. All right, 375 degrees. Our eggs are going on the grill. It's 435 now. I'm gonna start checking these after about 15 minutes. And uh, until then, I'll just be hanging out and waiting. All right, people, so it's now been 17 minutes since I put my eggs on the grill. I checked them at the 15 minute mark. They weren't quite there yet, but I don't think these are gonna take a full 20 minutes either. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a peek at them again right now. Yep, and these are done. I'll get you in a little bit closer so you can see. See that, the whites are set. They're jiggly, um, but they're still almost a little bit liquidy. That's exactly where I want them to be. So I'm gonna pull mine right now. We're gonna take these inside. All right, eggs are off the grill. They're looking pretty awesome, if I do say so myself. Um, let's go ahead and get them out of here. Put them on our little serving tray. Um, now, if you have one of these little thingamajigs right here, this is really going to come in handy right now for getting these eggs out of here. I have no idea what this is called. Um, I use them occasionally, but I don't know what the heck they are. Um, if you know what this is called, leave the answer in the comments. Educate me a little bit. Anyway, if you have one of these, it's definitely going to help you right now. So just scoop it up under there. Scoop them right out. I'm telling you, if you haven't tried this, you really don't know what you're missing. I made these at the store this past Saturday. And they were gone in like five minutes. That's it. Those are ready to go. I'll let those sit and rest just for a minute or two. I'm going to go grab a knife and we'll be right back. All right, so got my knife let it rest for a minute let's cut into one of these and see what we're working with hopefully I didn't screw this up oh yeah that's perfect that's just how I like mine let's get a close-up that's just what I like to see you see the yolk is beginning to turn solid but it's not cooked all the way through it's still runny on top I love mine like that. Um, you might like yours even more runny. You might like yours more cooked. Just adjust your cooking time just a few minutes or so. Maybe two or three minutes less, two or three minutes more. Doesn't take long to cook eggs. It's not that hard. You just gotta kinda keep an eye on it. I'm telling you, you have to try this. It's absolutely amazing. Yep, that's perfect. Anyway, that's it for this week's tip, guys. Uh, baked egg in a bacon nest. Again, this is a Traeger recipe. You can look it up on the Traeger app or on their website. I highly recommend you try it. It's really, really good. You're gonna be making this all the time. Um, if you're one of those people like me that usually only buys like six eggs at a time, uh, you might wanna start buying a dozen. Um, because yeah, you're gonna be eating these like three or four times a week. 
Uh, also, another thing I wanted to note, uh, Father's Day deals just started on the Traeger grills. I can't say too much, it just started today, and I really don't know what I'm allowed to tell you and what I'm not, so let me just say this. Right now we got some deals on some grills. We got deals on accessories. We've got deals on pellets. We've got deals on sauces and rubs. Um, everything runs through the 16th of this month. That's June 16th. We've got crazy deals on grills. So make sure and stop by and check us out. Come see us on Saturday. We'll be cooking out as always. Whether it's raining or not, we're gonna be grilling. We're gonna have food samples at 12. Um, I guess that's pretty much it guys. Make sure and check us out on social media, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. We'll have all the tags at the end of the video. And as always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next week.